All right, guys, right to the point, because there's no tactful way to start this video out. Um, I've got a, you know, every now and then in these videos, I'll be like, well, I got messaged. Some friends messaged me and stuff. And I've talked to all these friends <clears throat> the last couple of weeks and stuff. And we're, I mean, we're not a tight, they, they, I've talked to them, so they know this video is coming. So I feel pretty relaxed saying what I got to say. They, they know, you know, we, we are, we're all in good. We're all good. But every now and then, the last couple of weeks, months, whatever, I've lost track of the time, you know, they'll kind of, want me to check out a video and they'll send me a little link or something and saying that they feel like somebody's going to rip me off a little bit on one of my videos and I didn't watch them and I finally came around and watched uh watched watched you know about three or four of them and stuff and most of them were like guys that might have been starting out uh they didn't really have a voice on YouTube that's going to come with experience nothing too bad and then you know I saw one where I was like okay I'm I'm kind of flattered because you know it was more like a format thing or or like uh you know trying to talk a little bit more about a comic and get out of it you know i mean i didn't really it, it, it was nothing you know in my opinion but then i watched the one video where it, it felt like i was watching that kid in sixth grade where it's time for everybody to stand up one at a time in front of the whole class and do a book report and this guy did not read the freaking book you know um i was embarrassed for him and instead of like calling that channel out or something like that, uh, that's not what community is about. So I figured I'd just make it something positive because it's reached a point where I, I've got to address it in a way, but let's make it a positive thing. And it's about um, passion in comics, okay? What makes a good YouTube video? Now, for one thing, uh, when I watch people's videos and stuff, man, it doesn't matter if they're new. It doesn't matter if they've read comics for 50 years or whatever. There's certain things I kind of look for, and I can hear it. I don't sit there and take their video apart and judge it and all that stuff. You know, you can hear the passion about them in comics. I love it when new people get on here, and I cannot, I, I cannot go back and read Watchmen and The Dark Knight Returns, The Killing Joke, uh, First Appearance of Silver Surfer, even uh, even Batman and the Outsiders number one. I cannot go back and read those for the first time ever again. So when you know new, new new guys get on here and they jump right in and they're blown away by some of this stuff for the first time, it helps me remember that experience for the first time. You know, I'm rehyminated. You know, through them. And um, you know, so it's not really about how long you've been around. And then people always come out with the fake geeks and stuff like that. And yes, there are fake geeks, but what makes them that way? What makes one person's idea of comic book collecting and having the passion different from the others? What is it in a video that you're looking for? And that comes back to the video that was just, I felt bad for the guy where he didn't know what he's doing. He wasn't in it for the comics. He was in it for views or attention or I don't know what he's he, uh, trying to build respect. I don't know what he's doing, but it was everything except the comics. So I came up with a system of like, I thought about what do I do and what have I seen other people doing? And I came up with a little list here that I'm going to go through, right? At the center of everything you do with anything, even, I mean, think about like name brand products that you buy at the store, commercials you see on TV or anything like that. The most people don't buy what you're selling okay they buy and follow you and keep coming back because of your belief okay now I want you to notice because I'm going to come back to this that this is on nothing but you know a yellow tablet with shitty little letters and dollar you know markers okay but it always starts out with the belief okay anything I talk about any kind of passion I do even before I get on here and stuff like that I've it's got to have a feeling okay it's got to have you know a passion in there and there's a belief, and you can see that to other people. This is something you cannot fake. You've got to, in my opinion, start with believe in what you're saying, believe in what you've read, believe in what you're representing, okay? Because once you do that, and you, you get the belief in the people, that hooks people there, okay? The second thing is, and these get, like, less important as they go on, you know, the knowledge of it, okay? Now... The knowledge of it comes from a lot of things, man. It can, you know, you don't want to go and just read off of Wikipedia or something. I'm, I'm pretty hard on Wikipedia, but even I've gone to it for a starting point, and I found a few articles that have gotten better, you know, when it comes to comic books and stuff. But it's your knowledge. I, I I've seen videos where people were, you know, 
I, I kind of got attacked for being, you know, like encyclopedic knowledge and all this stuff. And that's when I knew the shine wore off me a long time ago. Um, but, you know, if that's how you present it and you know what you're talking about, put it out there. Um, also, you know, if it's a creator or something on there, talk a little bit about the book, you know, the knowledge, the stuff that grabs you that you remember. Even if it's from a freaking article, you know, you can't cite back and stuff like that. Do you know what you're talking about? You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be an encyclopedia and you're not, you know, there's no test, but know what you're talking about. Because if you're kind of weak in the knowledge of it, which is no big deal, uh, as long as you're not like making up stuff or, you know, using somebody else's words and stuff, the experience. This comes from your experience as a comic book collector. This comes from the experience of reading the comic that you're a fan of or the hero or the movie. What was the experience like? Okay. And again, go, again, experience is also, you know, the verb part. What What's your experience in collecting comics? What did it remind you of? What was it like? You know, stuff like that. And you don't have to be like matter of fact when you do it, man. You know, the passion hits. You know, you know a little bit about the book and now here's how it's making me feel and this is why it's so damn good or this is why it sucks. You know, it's, it's pretty simple, right? And that leads to... The very last thing, the least important, but the first thing people noticed, okay? I call, I put everything under flash, okay? That comes from a little intro in your video. That comes from these jump cuts, having some kind of porn slash video game music going on behind your, you know, while you're talking and stuff, you know? Uh, I, I kind of call it a generic YouTube thing, but it's, 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 it's weird because, like, if you have the belief, the knowledge, and the experience that you're putting in there with the book and stuff, the flash doesn't matter. All of a sudden, it's not a generic thing. You 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 put substance in the flash. Okay, flash cannot be by itself. Um, and just to show you what I'm talking about, you made it through this whole video, and whether I'm making a point or not or something like that. But you've watched me sit here with a uh, shitty little yellow notepad with you know shitty little letters and red marker because I feel like I'm adding some substance to it and a little bit of belief. You know, the flash isn't important. You know what I'm saying? And the flash actually is something that, you know, you want your videos to be noticed or you wouldn't be making them. You want to be talking about them, you know, and you, you know, and, and some people are young enough that, you know, this is the YouTube experience for their generation. So they, they do that. But if you're not talking about anything or you're fake or something like that, this is how people know. Because what happens is that if you jump in here and you're, you don't have a passion for the hobby or anything, whatever you're making your, whatever you're talking about, I mean, I, you know, you can talk to people in real life, you know, when they're full of shit. They go backwards. They go for the flash first. The flash turns into being trendy. I've made my video like everybody else's while you're not watching my videos. And you that's that's when you're gonna get, you know, that's when you are fake. You know, that's what people see because you don't have the passion, you're going backwards. You have all the flash, you've made that what's important. Okay. And you know, and then all of a sudden, the second thing you're doing is that you don't talk about the experience, you have no experience. It's more like you or I'll watch this movie, you know, with your knowledge. Uh, you know, your knowledge comes from the fact that you watched a movie or a few TV shows or you picked up three or four books and you didn't read them because you enjoyed them or you got anything out of it and stuff like that. You know, now all of a sudden, you know, you're, it, it's a trendy thing is what's going on. And you lack belief. You will never, ever, ever... Um, hook people because you're not believing in what you're saying. It's a trend. You're having fun. And then all of a sudden, you've gone from the comics to why are you calling me a fake geek and all that stuff. And, and you know, I know fake geek ends up causing problems here, but they, they are out there. But that's also like when you're insincere and you're not authentic in your videos, um, you know, you're not going to enjoy the experience. You know, it takes time to find your voice. It takes time to, to get that passion out and find the words. It's like little kids, man. They will get mad and they're pure emotion and they throw fits and they stomp and they'll hit the ground. Uh, used to hold their breath and all that stuff and it's because they don't have the words yet. You know, it takes time to do this and stuff. There's still things where I'm just kind of like, you know, I, I can't get, sometimes I can't get it out or it goes completely in the wrong direction. I'm watching the video and I'm like, I said that, you know, stuff like that. So basically, I think I think that's what makes a good YouTube video. You know, you start out with your passion and that you believe, and you work out from there. If you're popping up here and you've got the structure of a video down and nothing to say, and you're trying to work backwards, you're never going to get to the belief where you should be starting. Anyway, that's what I think. Thanks for watching. Carry on.